Hello Regiment. Uh, per my blog post earlier, I want to cover some uh, recovery for the lower portion of your body. First I want to go over uh, some of the tools we're going to be working with. It's two lacrosse balls duct taped together. You got the single lacrosse ball, nice four inch by two foot PVC pipe, and a frozen drink container. First thing we're going to do is work the bottom of your feet. All that stuff gets tacked down and abused, pounding it into, well, we don't march on pavement so much, but... If you have the roller, the PVC pipe, you can step on it, take a counter or something for balance, and just bring yourself back and forth on it. Try and, you know, lean to the outside, roll the outside of your foot, get to the inside, and just work it over the whole surface of the foot. If you don't have the PVC pipe, this frozen uh, drink here works well, and if you have, you know, flame tissue or anything, it can be pretty heavenly to get that numbing effect as you work in there. If you have more acute problems, maybe a little more isolated, uh, you can use the lacrosse ball. And that really lets you, you can really dig into a particular area. Plantar fascia is always popular. Move it along your uh, entire arch. Sometimes the roller doesn't get into the arch as much as you might like. Next item to work on, the shins. You know, our marching technique has a lot of dorsiflexion. We're pulling up, that works all these muscles in here. If they get tired, they start to quit on you. As we're pounding in, it has a potential to, to put stress on your, your tibia here. We want to avoid that. Uh, in rehearsal, you may get, a, you know, starts to get sore and tired. This is an easy stretch to do on the field. Just go down. and slowly put your weight, try and sit back onto your heel. You don't want to bounce or rock, you want to keep a nice straight line with the leg here, keep your toe, keep your heel rather, in line. If you, a sneakers on it can be a little more difficult, but uh, you don't want to let your foot, your heel, kick outward. It will twist up this whole, uh, whole line, and twist your ankle and put a lot of stress on your knee. A more advanced version of this is you're very comfortable. You can try this at home. Just sit down on both and uh, to get an extra piece up top, tighten your core and lean back into hip extension. As you see, you don't have a lot of control there, so that's something to do once you're very confident with how you're moving around. If you need a little more directed work, you can take the lacrosse ball. And you'll see this is a technique we'll be using called uh, tack and stretch. Take the lacrosse ball, dig it into the muscle here. You can feel you have some flesh here, not into the, the shin bone itself. Dig into it and just make circles with your feet. This can be particularly unpleasant, but it's very effective in breaking up any adhesions in the tissues. And just work your way up. Start at the bottom, work your way up. final thing for the shins. If you're feeling particularly uh, adventurous, you can use the roller on the shins. Place it down, put yourself on top of it, and you can put a lot of pressure and just roll along the entire length of your anterior tibialis. So you don't want to put too much weight on it. 
Make sure you control yourself well with your arms and your back leg. And you can definitely choose the level of abuse you're looking to go for. Uh, third piece, we're working our calves. Uh, calf stretch, two ways to go about it. I like using a, a wall, uh, particularly if you have a column or a doorway. What I'm saying. Plant your foot on the wall, like so. Make sure you try, try and get as much as you can up on the wall. Usually the ball of your foot is about where it's going to uh, be comfortable. Straighten the knee, keep the leg in extension, hips in extension, and just pull yourself forward. Keep the butt tight. Hold this for about a minute or so, and then you can just floss in with the knee and get a little extra rolling forward without the, uh, the tension in the upper leg. Second way to do this, uh, this also works on the field if things are really feeling toasted. Just lean down, keep your leg, keep your foot rather flat on the floor, your uh, leg in extension, and you can lean in. And this too, you can get a little, uh, you can adjust your tension here and see how much you really want to take. Keep your leg in too much extension. You can, you can put a lot of stress that way, especially leaning forward and just supporting yourself with your hands, so use with care. See you soon, regiment.